So I've talked about this before, but I think that the message that I have for you today is one that is worth repeating. And the genesis for this idea came from a discussion that I saw happening on my Discord server. If you'd like to join the Discord server, there's a link in the video description below. We have wonderful conversations, and it's kind of awesome that we've built something so nice. But that's beside the point. Today, what I want to talk about is something that is very upsetting to me. And the reason why it's upsetting is because I have the same problem that the Linux community does. This is not something that I'm immune to. And the problem that I'm talking about is the problem of superiority. And we talk about elitism and all this stuff, like especially when it comes to like Arch and Gen 2, like there's Arch elitists and our read the effing manual people and all this stuff. But that's not even really what I'm talking about in this case. What I'm more talking about is the people who are so attached to whatever it is they're using that they feel that they have to push it on to other people and look down on those other people for what they use. Now, like I said, I'm not immune to this. I made a video yesterday, like absolutely yesterday, about a file manager in which I call people who don't use that file manager boring. I did do that. Now, most of that was tongue-in-cheek, obviously, but the point is, is that I'm not immune to being superior about the things that I use, about feeling superior about the, those things that I use. And I'm also not someone who's unwilling to push my ideas over what should be used onto other people. I do that actually quite often, and it's a horrid trait. Like, it's something that I absolutely should not do. Because the point of Linux, the point of free and open source software is to use what you want to use. There's a reason why there's 5,000 distros. Okay, it's because the developers of one distro got upset with the, their friends and decided that they needed to fork that distro in order to do things their way. That's the reason why fragmentation exists in the first place. And the idea that there's only one way of doing things is completely anathema to the idea of free and open source software. Now, maybe in the good old days, or the olden days, if you will, that idea could have flown. But these days, the idea that there's just one way of doing things is just not true. Like, there's 12 different ways of updating your system, probably. I mean, most definitely, there's at least that many ways of updating any specific distro. And that idea translates to pretty much everything. If you want to edit a document in Linux, there's hundreds of different ways of doing so. If you want to record a video on Linux, there's multiple ways of doing so. The point, and it just goes on and on and on and on, right? The, the idea that there's just one way of doing things is dumb. And the idea that one way of doing something is superior to other ways of doing it is also not right. It's not something that we should try to push onto other people. We shouldn't take that point of view. And like I said, I'm not upset with people who do this because I do it too. Like, I absolutely do this. I tell people that the terminal is better than GUI all the time. I see other people telling that exact same argument. I tell people all the time that window managers are better than desktop environments. I say that all the time, but it's not true. Like, it's absolutely not true. Like, desktop environments have their own reason for being, just like tiling window managers have their own reason for being. And because my workflow happens to work best in a tiling window manager doesn't mean that the people who have a workflow that works better in a desktop environment are somehow inferior or dumb or stupid or, or you know, whatever. It's just, it's a silly argument. My way of doing things isn't better than your way of doing things. They're just ways of doing things. So the whole point of the video is to try to not only raise the awareness of the things that we do so the we i think this is a trait of the entire linux community we all do this we all have our favorites we all have the things that we root for that we're fans of that we want to make other people fans of so for example crusader i want to make as many people a fan of crusader as possible and that's a selfish thing for me to do because the reason why i want more people to use self use Crusader isn't because Crusader is the best file manager out there, which I happen to think it is, but 
It's not because of that. The reason why I want people to use Crusader is because the more people who use it, the more likely it is to stay around for a long time. And I want it to stay around for a long time. So, like I said, it's a completely selfish idea. But the point is, we all have this need to have everyone else see things the way we see them. So, for example, the terminal versus GUI argument, which I've talked about before in a dedicated video, is one that we're never going to see eye to eye on for you know in a, as a community. It's just not something. A lot of people prefer the GUI way of doing things. A lot of people prefer the way of, of doing it in the terminal. It's just the way it is, and it's perfectly fine. One way is not better than the other way. Now. It can be argued that there is more efficiency to be had in the terminal. It can also be argued that there's more efficiency to be had in a GUI. It really depends on what you're talking about. In certain situations, it's definitely easier to do something in a terminal than it is to do in the GUI. But it doesn't necessarily mean that overall the terminal is better than a GUI. Or that a GUI is better than a terminal. It doesn't work that way. Same thing for pretty much anything on Linux. A browser recording video, file managers, whatever, you know, anything that anybody can be a fan of, tiling window managers, for example, there are multiple options out there and trying to convince someone that yours is at the absolute best is a argument that you just can't win. It's just not something that you can win because just because something is good for you, just because it works the best for you doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for Jim Bob across the street. The biggest problem with this behavior, this idea of pushing our favorites onto other people and judging them when they don't agree, is it turns people away. Like, it makes them feel like the, their way of doing things is inappropriate, which is asinine. Because, of course, their way of doing things is appropriate. There's no wrong way of doing anything unless it breaks something. Like, if you are updating your system in a certain way that it always breaks, then you're doing something wrong. That's not the same thing as what I'm talking about. As long as what you're doing works and you enjoy doing it that way, you're doing it perfectly fine. And no one else has the right to come into wherever and say, hey, you should do it this way because it's better. And if you continue to do it the way you're doing it, you're done. That's not okay. And I don't think that the vast majority of us who champion certain things aren't out there calling other people idiots for the most part. That's not really the way this usually goes down. Usually, it's like you are arguing for a certain window manager, and you say that it's the best ever, and you should use this, you should try this, and you should do so for these reasons. And for the most part, people are polite about it, but you can definitely see sometimes a condescension comes in to the point where they start judging the other person when they don't agree. And that happens more often than you think. It's something that a lot of people don't even realize happens because it's subconscious. It's not something that most people are, are aiming to do. You see this a lot in the communities that have developed within the Linux community. Things like Arch, Gentoo, Emacs, Vim. It happens a lot in those communities where anyone who uses those distros or projects have a certain ownership over using those things and they tend to be very fierce in their marketing of it to other people like they are the marketers of that thing that they use and they don't sometimes do the best job of keeping their sneer off their face when they are trying to get people to use some, their thing versus the other thing it happens a lot. Like, I mean, you just read any of the comment sections on any of my Vim videos and you'll see multiple people coming in saying, hey, you should use Emacs instead. Like, like, especially the ones where I was talking about writing in Vim. A lot of people said, Emacs is better for this. You should use this. And some of those comments were definitely edging on the border of being condescending. Now... There's definitely a certain level of thick skin that you need because this problem is not going to go away. It's just human nature. We all we are all fanboys of everything that we use that we like and enjoy. It's just the way things go. So it's not something that is ever going to be changed. So the best thing that we can all do is develop a little bit of thick skin and kind of just realize that, hey, just because I use this thing doesn't mean that I'm a bad person or that I'm doing it wrong. It's just I use this thing. I enjoy this thing and it's okay. Like, it's fine 
that I use this and do this thing this certain way. And even if there are people out there who disagree with that, that's their problem, not mine. That's really the way you have to work on it. For the people who realize that they're doing this, so for example, I realize that I've done this many times, it's just something that we really do have to kind of just pay attention to. It doesn't mean that we can't champion the things that we like. So you, you Emacs people, rah, rah, Emacs, keep going on Emacs. It's perfectly fine. Just understand that not everyone needs to use Emacs. Okay. Same thing. I'll do the same thing with Vim. I will state right now, not everyone needs to use Vim. Using Nano is perfectly fine. I'll try not to judge you. It will be hard, but I'll try not to judge you, okay? The, the, the point is, is that use what you want to use and don't be so attached to the things that you use that you look down on other people for using something else. That's the whole point. Linux is amazing. Free and open source software is absolutely amazing. I don't think that there's a day that goes by that I don't realize how lucky I am to be able to use the stuff that I use and to be a part of the community that I'm a part of. It's just, it's an amazing thing. And, but that doesn't mean that there aren't flaws in that community or the things that we use or the mentalities that go along with being a part of a larger group of people. That's just the way things go. When you're part of a community of a certain size, certain mentalities develop. It's called tribalism for a reason. It's very much a us against the world mentality sometimes. Sometimes it gets to the point where we're very combative over wanting our thing to succeed over something else. And it's just human nature. It's just the way things go. And the only way to improve it is just to be a little bit more self-aware about the fact that what you use may be really good, but it doesn't mean what the other person you, you use it isn't also really good. So I could probably go on for a little while longer and just repeat myself over and over again, but I think that I'll stop there. So if you have comments, you can leave those in the comment section below, right below the like button. Make sure you hit that. If you really like this video, if you didn't, you know, hit the thumbs down button, but nobody will ever know that you did. So I guess it doesn't really matter. You can follow me on Twitter at the Linuxcast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuxcast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Robert said, Devon, Patrick, Fred, Kramer, Meglin, Jackson, Nathan, Tool, Steve A, Sabrega, Lennox, Garrick, Samuel, Mitchell, Artsner, J Dog, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin, e, Andy, Ross, Merrick, Camp, Josh, Lily, Peter A, Crucible, Dark Planet 6, Primus, and PM. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.